Hey everybody, so I got another Way Back Wednesday. It's an open tag, it's hired by Warthog, Rick, and he's got a phenomenal collection, so please go check him out, give him a sub. Um, let's get to it. So I was at the, the thrift store the other day, and they know I like knives, so they told me, oh, we got a couple knives, and I see this this one, and I see it's, I can tell it's a stray just by looking at it. And this one had a big old price tag over it, so I didn't know what it was. I just knew it was a slip joint. And they were a buck fifty each, and I said yes, I want them. And I bought, I bought this before I even knew what it was. So go check out your thrift shops; they have lots of great stuff, great deals, and you never know what you'll find. So this, <clears throat> this first one is a little Junior Stockman. It's an 808 Shred. You got your Delrin handles. Let's see the tang stamp real quick. There you go. And pretty good condition. It has a little bit of rust on it. You can see right there. So I'm going to attempt to clean these. I'll show you the blades first. So here's, that was the cut point. Here's the sheep's foot. And that looks more like, kind of like a patina or something. And the little pin blade. They all look in, like they're in really great shape though. And this one has like on the inside is nice and clean. A little bit of rust right there, but look at that fit and finish. There's almost no gapping, no stepping. This is a fantastic knife. Um, definitely needs cleaning though. And then this one, this one was a really cool find. So this is a, a case medium trapper. And it would, would have looked similar to that with the, with the jigging. Give a good look at it. Now it, the pins are a bit proud, but it, as you can tell, it's pretty worn. So I'm going to forgive them on that. So let's check out the, the clip point. I'll show you the tang stamp real quick. You have Case XX USA, and then it's super hard to make out underneath, but you, there's a some dots there so I believe this is a 72 73 and man that's got it's got some awesome walk and talk got really nice half stops really strong probably like a six pole yeah sheep's foot I think a little bit of rust there and then I thought this was just a, this one's kind of hard to get out. I originally thought this was a um, spade blade that was just ground down, but when I was looking, I found some new in the box ones where they had some of them had a little pin knife like that. So that's pretty cool. It's very jagged on the end. It's almost saw-like, but really strong pull in this one. I think a nice snap to it. So I'm gonna soak these and oil. I'll skip showing the oil part, but I'll show the cleaning. Um, I'm just going to soak them in oil, see how they do, and then we'll come back. All right, so I let them soak overnight, um, work the pivots, and then I started cleaning, but I uh, didn't record it, so and to start over, um, but I didn't do a whole lot. One thing I, I noticed was kind of interesting. I had the blade sitting in oil like this with that with the blade sticking up, and I made it kind of darker. And I don't necessarily mind the most knives, but this one was nice and shiny before. So, and I'll show you what I did <clears throat> or how I did it. But so I polished up the, the sheep's foot. And I'll definitely have to clean both inside the knives, but that's still not too bad. So I think what I'll do first is show you how I clean the, the bleed. So I, I just use the strobing compound. I have both green and white, but I use a white since I don't use it that much in strobing. So I just kind of rub it in. And then I'll get a little square of cloth or paper towel in this case. I'll do the same, I'll rub it on there. And I'm not using a lot. But 
all you got to do is just kind of rub it just a little bit. See, it's already polishing up. See, that looks great already. And I'm not going to get it perfect. I just wanted to get back to at least where it was before. Maybe a little better. There, check that out. And a little darker on the that hang, so I try and get in there. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not making it perfect. I'm just taking off a little bit of metal, actually. That's what that is. So definitely wipe <clears throat> that off after you're done. But there you go. All right, so I'm going to show a time lapse of me cleaning these. Go ahead and show you what this one looks like first, though. So this also went a little darker. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Um, I might buff it a little bit. I'm not sure. I might just leave it like that for now, but all right, let's stay tuned. All right, so the Shred 808, it cleaned up really nicely. Let's just wait one more time. Really nice one, I really like that a lot. And uh, this one, it's cleaning up really well, but it still had a lot of gunk in it, so I might have to do something else. That's what all this stuff is from. But, um, you know, I kind of want to polish it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure some people won't like that, but we're gonna try it and see. Oh, and I found out it's a 70, 1972 model. Can always do another patina on it, and I don't want to take everything off. I just want to. Well, I, I might, maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> That's already looking better, though. Just be careful not to cut yourself. And see, maybe I might do a little bit more, but that's looking a lot better. So has great half stops, great snap to it. This one's awesome. And then I like that it has a little pin blade instead of a spade blade. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing a lot. Shape for comparison. So that's the side I just did compared to that one. And I'll probably do a little more off camera, but I just wanted to share that with you. See what you guys all thought. Hope you all are having a good day. But, um, hell of a find. I'll show you that bone a little bit better now. Since it's nice and soaked up with the oil. A little bit lighter color here. It's kind of nice. But um, really, a really awesome knife. I was, I was so happy to find that one. But that's it. Thank you all for watching. You have a great day. And like and subscribe.